Welcome to the MVP. It's the Mass You Podcast. Yeah, we back again to give you the podcast that only we can give you what it do what's happening. How you doing? Uh, book, what's going on with you, man? I'm chilling, man. Ain't nothing much. Another day, right. another right. week, another time to show these people how we speak, what it do. Put me in the game. That's a verse. <laughs> you talking about that one? <laughs> but be on it. You know what I'm talking about? I was working on that. You know what I'm saying? It took me about two weeks to come up with just that bar, that, that line right there. You know what I'm saying? So, so I put, so I put about a, by the time you get here, I should have about, you know what I'm saying, three and a half bars together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, more. Okay, brother. You know <laughs> but man, it's, oh, been a, it's been a hell of a week. Uh, we back again, like we said, man. The podcast don't stop. We keep on giving it to you. Um, we might, I just want to give everybody a heads up. Uh, we might not be able to mess with it um, the week after. No, let be straight. No, next week. Next week. We'll probably have to skip a week. I'll be out of town. I'll be out in Orlando. Um, we're going on a quick little vacation. You know what I'm saying? Me and the wifey. Um, so hopefully that all works well. You know what I'm talking about? So just to let you guys know, more than likely next week, probably won't have an episode. Maybe. Because I might still be able to pull it off. But we just making sure. Um, Book, what's happening, man? Let the people know what happened last week, man. It was up big. Trust me, people. I'm not slipping on what be tripping. You know what I'm talking about? I just can't be telling you what's happening with me. You know what I'm saying? But what I can tell you is a current event of today. Mm -hmm. So, as we know, people, I mean, my shits be, you know, what they is anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's never lackluster. You know, that, you know, y'all always say that boy book be on some other shit, but I don't be on the other shit. I just be on my shit. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? The niggas that can't handle the stank, get out of my way. All right. So, I told my roommate, I told Ray, uh, many a times before, I'm going to tell this nigga, hey, your little lady friend come over here. Please clean up after her, okay? I'm not with the shedding of the head for anybody, okay? I don't care if you're mine's or another's. And the fact that you ain't mine's and you's another definitely ain't condoning this shit, all right? Mm -hmm. So I've swept before. I've mopped before. I don't be in the common areas. I don't be in the kitchen cooking shit. I don't be in the living room living shit. I be in my bedroom sleeping shit. Okay, so I go out there today, right? Actually, about two weeks ago, because I was here, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, nigga, hey, man, you got to, you know, you got to clean up after your lady. You know what I'm saying? Hair all over the place. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. The other night, I come in, I swift for the floor. Hair all over the place again, right? I swear for this shit because I don't like walking in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? So take care of that. I see ahead. All right, cool. Two days later, which would be today, folks. Um, I wake up. It's my day off. I go out there. He's off a day before me, which is Monday. Mm-hmm. So I come in Tuesday morning. I see her hair on the floor. My nigga, I see her hair in the dryer, in the in the, in the lint, in the lint joint, right? They're hanging out, not captured, just <laughs> loose body. Okay, I see her hair in 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 the in in the the seal of the washing machine. I have a problem with all of this. All right, mm-hmm. now I, I can easily just alert house and be like, "Hey, man, he got twenty four hour visitation going on over here. We know we don't condone that. That is a safety and security issue." I don't want to do that. I'm in leadership. I can do the shit. This nigga ain't You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not gonna say we all employees, but he ain't got no pull. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, I got no problem writing a nigga up from another department. Let <laughs> let alone be my roommate. Okay, <laughs> niggas, come on, man, get it together. So I say, you know what? Fuck that. I collect all of the hair. Collect all of it. Mm-hmm. I swept all of that. Push it out to the living room. Push it out to the hallway. I collected every piece of hair. Not physically handed, right? I swept that shit right in that nigga bathroom. <laughs> right in that nigga bathroom, bro. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how I look. I don't give a fuck how I look. 
if you can't get to it there, I'm going to put it where you can. You know what I'm saying? I put that shit right on that nigga bathroom floor. Don't you might want to lock that door next time, nigga, because that's where it's gonna go from here on out. That's where it's going from here on out. It's a lot. Yes, it was. I don't give a fuck. And you ain't gonna say nothing to me because it's the point of nigga. Just clean up after her, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't have to get first. Like you can't clean it up, huh? Why she can't clean it up? I don't care who the fuck do it as long as it ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's either you or her. One of y'all need to do what you gotta do, man. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you don't even live here <laughs> to be in here acting like that. Mm -hmm. All right, you company, you a visitor. If at any point in time I be like, yo, she gotta get the fuck out. Ain't no conversation. Mm -hmm. Ain't no conversation. I don't care what the fuck she doing, nigga. She don't live here. <laughs> we don't. None of us pay rent. You know what I'm saying? This company afford it, but it do come out our checks. It's technically we pay a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, dude, it is a courtesy that you got a cool ass roommate like myself. Mm -hmm. That don't tripping about that. The only thing I trip about is please clean up after her. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, now I don't say shit about nothing, man. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Give me that, dog. Give me that. Or get it up out your floor in the bathroom, nigga. Cause that's where it's going from here on out, nigga. <laughs> oh man, I swear, bro. I I just like, man, come on, dude. Like, I just I can't do it, man. And it used to be. It used to be a point in time with this company where um, leadership actually got their own rooms, like they they own apartment room to themselves. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They went away from that. Yeah, that's fucked up. They went away from that. As soon as I got my authority, nigga, <laughs> they stopped doing yeah. the shit. I said, you <laughs> yeah, I'm stripping, man. I mean, I had to fight to get my damn car by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like it used to be that too. Leadership used to get their own vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Leadership got their own bedrooms. You know what I'm saying? Whole apartment to themselves. I'm just like, boy, I can't wait until I get mine. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I got mine, oh, yeah, well, you know, we got to go away from all of this shit. I'm like, uh. They try to save money or something? I, I, man, I guess. I guess. Now it's uh, director's can't get if they choose to live in company housing you know what i'm saying so supervisors and managers all got a room with somebody mm -hmm. if you live in company housing mm -hmm. directors if you live in company housing it's all yours you know what i'm saying the whole room is yours and um hr hr also which that makes sense you know what i'm saying you can't have hr living with people that they could possibly interview and shit like that mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i i understand that that part but you know um how they do it with us obviously is they put us with other individuals from other departments that have no affiliation with us mm. that way but nick trust me <laughs> the laptop I, I can access i can access the mfr from my phone okay <laughs> stop playing with me man because if i bring this shit home and i put it on that coffee table nigga, you know what you did don't even ask about it so i'm like that <laughs> right, no people man. from fantasy football to trash talking, right. man. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta chill yeah. out, bro. Come on, man. Disorderly conduct, bro. You being nasty, man. Clean this shit up. It's housing one on one. It's housing one on one. If I call up them, come on, man. Like, come on, bro. Like they do housing inspections about cleanliness. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's, it's yours, but you do gotta maintain this. This building is leased. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, we renting this bitch out. Through and through. So, yeah, they want to make sure they think G to G. Now, if they come in here and this bitch look like a typhoon hit it, they not gonna look at just one person. They gonna look at post names. That's that's assigned to this. To this. nah, man, hell no, no, bro. Take care of my quarters. You know what I'm saying? Take how, care of my quarters. How she look though. That's what that's what everybody want to know. How she look? I've only seen her, like realistically. I only saw her the day that. She first came by mm. to here, so I, I really can't remember. And that was long time ago, long time ago. I told y'all, man, she he he keep her locked away in the room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, she not outside. She Great. she not out there when I walk out the door. You know what I'm talking about? It's like once once I once you hear my door open, I swear it's like a ninja vanish. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> she just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can't even recall. I, I can't even recall. You know what I'm saying? 
I, well, I'm saying he late forties, early fifties. I think I ain't too far behind you. Nah, ain't you, too far behind you. You ain't even forty yet, man. If that nigga fifties. That's a long ass gap. Dude. Man, ain't, anytime you get past thirty, nigga, everything close. You know what I'm saying? It be feeling like you <laughs> shit. You know what I'm <laughs> man, that boy book, boy, you can't. You y'all should, should never gave this nigga no power. This nigga won't write everybody up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, writing up ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Just writing everybody up. Look, man, just, just, just do your job. Do your mm-hmm. job, nigga. They gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's your poor Ray. Ray, it's gonna be all right if you listen to this. Ray, we all we we fighting for you, man. Just clean that hair up, dog. You know what I'm saying? We don't want I mean, you to get to it one way or another. He gonna get to it one way or another. They gonna mm-hmm. catch a perv, a hairball. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my thing, man. Like can't do it. That's why I bought my own vacuum. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. Can't do it. And I ain't yeah. got that much. Yeah, work now. I just got vacuum for no reason, huh? Yeah, work now. No, nah, he in the room sleep. Oh, uh, I remember last time you were saying he he wasn't at work. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, "Why well, is he going to work?" Well, it's twelve eleven right now. You know what I'm saying? Eleven eleven minutes after midnight, folks. So that nigga was moving around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then I would know that nigga ain't going to work. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So yeah, for sure. Gotcha, man. I got a couple things. I ain't got a lot, man. Ain't a lot of shit happening, man. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Um, first thing, Cam Newton, he apologized. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. He had yeah, he, that's after we taped. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he he, he apologized. I like how he did it. Um, he said he Apparently. was embarrassed because um, anything could have happened. You know what I'm saying? It could have went a different way. And plus, he said he knew them guys. You know what I'm saying? Like they all do something for the community. And he said they do a good job. He said it shouldn't have never got that way. He said words got him out of character, and. That's how that got there. So, shout out to Cam for standing on for, for standing on business, as well as admitting when he was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, everybody else, we riding with him. He didn't have to say nothing about he was wrong. He didn't have to apologize. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But he took accountability. He said, "You know what? Even if it wasn't his fault, he shouldn't. Have, he shouldn't have put himself in that position." And shout out to Cam. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. For every everybody that I've heard talking about this situation, even they talking about him um, before this situation. Everybody says that guy is a great pillar to the community. He always reaches back and I ain't heard, heard nothing crazy or nothing, no fuck shit on Cam Newton. So, shout out to Cam. You know what I'm saying? Being solid. You know what I'm talking about? You watched it? You watched his um interview that he did on watched the podcast? Watched the whole time. Fourth mm-hmm. one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Watched the whole time. Good shit. Because he's talking about every time. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? So, and I, I like how he was like, you know, the Mashika folks, that's what it's called. Because I watched <laughs> the whole interview. He name dropped the Mashika many a times. He said, no, no, no. That's why the hat, that's why it stay on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's to the they it's to your head. Mm-hmm. They come out of mess with your scalp. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so he was like, you know, that's why it's so snug. And he was like the Mashika. He was like, you can do it however you want, player. You can get it like, you can get it this way, you can get it that way, <laughs> whatever way you want it to be, baby. They're going to work with you. Mm-hmm. So, shameless plugs of the Mashika brand. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I like how he got through everything else. You know, most people are just going to fast forward to the part for the end. But the, the whole conversation that he was having wasn't, you know, he's entertaining, man. And I, I can watch Cam because he's well spoken. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? The brother articulates himself very well. You know what I mean? So um, go ahead and use that college degree, brother. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Only use that college degree. Be be, be the uh, non-stereotypical black man that they always think we are. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I actually appreciate just hearing that brother speak. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can see the, you can hear the intellect behind him. You know what I'm saying? The wisdom in between the ears. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Him and um, him and Tony Baker, man. Tony Baker a little bit more funnier, but you know, Tony Baker is also well spoken on his uh, verbal cardio. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And uh, not to sidetrack, but I've seen a couple of conversations that this nigga been having on there. I swear, these niggas is stealing from yeah. us. That 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 that's I'm too just, big of a coincidence, man. Yeah. Bro, come, man, listen. There's a lot of conversations over there. I, I like the conversations that you're having. 
which mm -hmm. itself. But see, we had these in a group. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And some just ain't had enough. So you people, I appreciate y'all tuning in to us, but don't be taking our content and distributing it elsewhere on these bigger platforms to where it look like, even though the timestamp would say that we did it first, they don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? We know how that goes. Not, At least don't, 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 don't care Williams us. <laughs> don't you don't you sit there entertain us? Mm -hmm. Don't you Steve Harvey me? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Give us all credit and just be like, oh man, you know, heard this on other podcasts and I, I like what they did and I just want to give my two cents. I'll mm -hmm. be all right with that. You know what I'm saying? Now when they say you heard this on the other podcast, make sure you say our fucking name. Mm -hmm. Okay. The podcast could be anybody. No, say our say my name. Say my name. And yeah. he, and he wrong, by the way. On which one? Um, Tony Baker, um, the one you sent me, everybody okay. that watched this, y'all know that we had the conversation about the greatest actors. We did Tom Hanks versus Denzel Washington. You know what I'm saying? Which one would you prefer and all that kind of stuff? We did that. And Tony yeah. Baker did that. He went with Denzel. Yeah. Never mad at nobody going with Denzel. But Tom Hanks is literally the best actor of all time. And it is what it is. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I, can't, I can't deny it. I can't refute it. And y'all know if y'all listen to this podcast enough, you know how I like to stick with us. I like to stick with the brothers. I like to stick mm. with my people. But I cannot lie that white man was holding, <laughs> tugging at my heartstrings every fucking move he does. Nigga, I, I can't, I'm sorry, man. I even felt bad for the nigga on the burbs, man. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Shout out to Tom Hanks, nigga. That nigga oh, played man. a little kid in a grown man body, and I believed every second of it. A wonderful job. The nigga, job. The nigga played a nigga from some kind of Scovania, some bullshit ass country, got stuck in the airport, and I forgot it was fucking Tom Hanks. I was like, is this nigga gonna get out? Like, I was real. That nigga still in the airport to me. On the terminal. Shout <laughs> out to Tom Hanks, nigga. This nigga really had me tear up and cast away when Wilson floated a fucking way. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry. Niggas can't been that. Yeah. Did you watch that one movie? What is it called? Um he was a he was an old grumpy man. And then this um this, this younger couple moved in. Next door to him. Nah, Damn, I got you got to watch that movie. I want. I think it's called like Ego or something like that. Let me see. Now I got to. That Google. sound. That sound right. That sound like something I heard. A man named Otto. Man named Otto. 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 Okay. Watch the movie. You won't be disappointed because it's fucking Tom Hanks. Everything this nigga do is amazing. So hey, it I is what it is. Yeah, I, I ain't seen that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got a virtuosity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Denzel got a virtuosity. Now, to me personally, I didn't think virtuosity was that bad. But in contrast and comparison to what Tom Hanks be putting out, it's that bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. it just, yeah, man. It's, it's almost like Eddie Murphy Metro. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like. Yeah. That that thing naked into Haiti. That was the best part of the whole movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I like how you say that. Say it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. I, I just that just came to, to to my thought, man. You know, because I was talking about you know the correlation between mm -hmm. you know brothers that can actually articulate themselves very well. So yeah, that was it, man. Tom Hanks, my dog. I'm sorry if anybody disagree, but that's the, I mean, he, he just is what it is. Uh, let's go to something else that got viral, man, over the week. Um, did you see Shannon Sharp get out that SUV in front of that liquor store? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if you ain't got nothing to say about it, we just ain't going to say nothing about it. It's cool. We can move on. <laughs> just want to. <laughs> uh, shout out to Shannon, you know, you know, giving to the communities and you know making it available on, on multiple platforms you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying multiple outlets to get that liquor you know what i'm talking about because mm -hmm. I, I so did 
Well, when I came in this past uh, summer mm-hmm. on vacation, you know what I'm saying? Um, after we went bowling, me and my parents, you know, we we went to the AP's exchange and we tried to hit the liquor joint. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have they didn't have the Shannon shop, Le Portier. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So uh, that's how I ended up with that. Uh, the fuck was that? The uh, the, the 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 Diddy one. The um the Ciroc. Um, yeah, Ciroc joint. Oh, yeah. you talking about the cone? Yeah, whiskey joint. Or uh-huh. his brown, yeah, the, the, the brown joint. So that's how I ended up with that because he didn't, you know, we couldn't find a Shannon shop. My mom actually was like, oh, I'm trying to find a Shannon shop one. I want to see. I'm like, oh, okay. So we couldn't find it. I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm hope, ah, please, when I fly through, hopefully in the duty free, they got a couple bottles. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they got some there. Um, That would mean that you're international, my G. And if you are, hey, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to bring try to try to scoop some of those and bring them home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, they, they give you the elite level size for the, <laughs> yeah, for the they, size yeah. amount that you get mm-hmm. here in the States. You know what I'm talking about? Them niggas ain't, they ain't, they ain't shady with the bottles. You know what mm-hmm. I'm talking about? So, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to give me some of those. You know what I mean? Definitely yeah. gonna try to give me some of those. Um, I just, at this point in time, man, I just let Shannon do what Shannon do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, that is sad. Let's do what Shannon do. Man, you saw Lou. Lou came out with a video today, clowning him. Oh yeah, yeah. Lou did the Shannon Sharp boy had me dying laughing. Man, check out Lou Young. Uh, that dude is so entertaining, man. Book told me about him a while ago, and yeah. I, I can't stop watching dude, man. And then ever, ever <laughs> since, ever since that damn Magic Johnson video, I can't stop watching dude, bro. Dude is funny, and he. It make it even better because he be at Colorado, so I watch every fucking video he put out there. You yeah, know what I'm he got a good tour yeah. with Dion and all of them. So, shout out to Lou, man. Lou doing yeah, his thing. Hilarious, man. man. <laughs> Yo, hilarious, since we man. About, we stay in the football zone because you know what I'm saying, Lou, with Shannon Sharp, mm-hmm. damn Cam Newton, all of them. Um, all right. They let Russell Wilson go, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you? Mm-hmm. I mean. They paid him a lot of money. I thought they would have gave him another year at least. You know what I'm saying? Okay, man. As them niggas said, your subway commercial was better than your gameplay. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. That, that that subway commercial was terrible. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, uh-huh. I think at this point in time, man, they was only keeping you on the roster because they like seeing your wife come through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh-huh. Shit, so do I. She's beautiful. I ain't trying to disrespect you, but we know Sierra's Sierra's goodies is top notch. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't so, know how that lady goodies is. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't uh, what you know. She got one with future. You know what I'm talking about? And she <laughs> made that nigga pass. And he's still trying to be the president. So I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Got 50 him. Left, though. 50, you remember 50 left. 50 was What's, he was out of there. They was the guy. Yeah, she, she had a point where she was messing with 50, yeah. Well, fifth and Bow Wow, but I don't, you know, they was young then with Bow. But see, I guess if she was with fit, she won what she is now, though. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like back then, she was cool. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't transform into this, 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 this woman that we see in front of us nowadays. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I think 50, you know what I'm saying? He might have wanted to wait a little bit, but I ain't mad at what 50 got either, man. Hey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. you got money like that, bro. You got the right to change your mind anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, it is what it is, bro. He ain't got he got more than Russell Wilson must money. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know. But um, I I don't have no. I don't think he he hasn't been good since ever since they threw the ball. In the Super Bowl, from the one, this nigga ain't been the same. I he kid you not. That. He was decent after that. Man, he, he has not been the same. Yeah. He definitely he ain't same. been the same. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't see the magic. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like nigga lost his powers. You know what I'm talking about? So, hey, man, I you know, he's a, a decent Quarterback, and these this is when you know people eat off of their name and former accomplishments, and people think that they still that person, you know what I mean? Like, 
no nah, man you you're not in your prime no more you know what i'm saying not everybody could be genesis qua a tom brady playing into their late 30s early 40s and still be good you know what i'm saying aaron Rodgers. you know what i mean peyton manning even though peyton manning fell off a lot too but his mind allowed him to achieve the success that he needed on the field you know what i mean even though he lost that some of that arm strength who said nigga just be throwing ducks i think that was uh richard sherman but um you know it it's he has other intangibles that you just he's still just as great you know what i mean and i'm not saying russell isn't you was great for a point in time for a stretch of your career but you are not the same caliber of qb that these people are they beat you with their mind you see what i'm saying that's yeah. that's the key thing so um nigga be acting like he nemo man you know i'm saying like think you could do these things but you just can't huh. you can't do them no more man you got that little fin you know what i'm saying like it just ain't what it is no more man that that arm strength that it ain't it ain't there you know what i'm saying so um it's a new guard man it's a little it's a new guard man them little five ten dump downs and like mm, i'm not mad that they let them go man you know um smart move I don't know where he goes from here. Um, they're gonna have to be on, on Madden. They call bridge players. Mm -hmm. You gonna have to mentor somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? One of these new QBs coming in, get mm -hmm. them the game type shit. You know what I mean? Help them, build them to be something great. That's that's what you gotta be, man. Or just take the money that they gave you, the 39 plus mil, and just say, hey, you know what? Eh, I had a good run. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. Yeah. You think they're gonna give him a chance? You think he's gonna come back and play somewhere else? He gonna get a shot. Cause somebody just desperate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody desperate. Desperate. There's, there's enough bad teams out there that had horrible quarterback play. For instance, we won't know until the draft actually takes place what um Chicago David is Lewis. actually gonna do uh, with hey, the with the number one pick. He you don't want to go there though. I thought Caleb Williams they said he don't want to go to Caleb. He don't want to go to Chicago. Scott, yeah, man, no, who want to go to Scott? It's cold as shit out there. <laughs> like, you coming from USC, you coming from Palm Springs and hot, like, bro, nobody want to go to the freezing cold. So mm -hmm. I'm not knocking them for that. But I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know the draft order, but um, I mean, that's just what that is. I know the Raiders, somebody else was talking about moving up to possibly get them, but you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. But um, if by chance Chicago drafts him, Mm -hmm. then that means they would probably be trading Justin Fields to Atlanta or say that that trade doesn't happen. Then Atlanta's new head coach came out and said, hey, man, if we had better quarterback play, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Russell Wilson is better than the two QBs that you had over there, Desmond Ritter and, and the, the other guy. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why not take a chance? I mean, hell, that would be a homecoming for Sierra. She's from the A. You see what I'm saying? She could perform. She could perform at every home game. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Ladies and gentlemen, bring Jazzy Faye out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, bro, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So that's yeah, who knows, man. Who knows? If you just want to entertain people until I don't. I, I mean, I don't see that being a bad investment. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of teams that actually still need a quality quarterback at starter. Hell, the Giants might do it. Right. You never know. The top three picks is all cold places: Chicago, Washington, and New England. Then, then you get to Arizona; they're not getting them. Um, yeah, because Kyler Murray back. Got the Chargers, and then the Giants. Yeah, and Hebert. Hebert. I don't need them. The yeah, Giants six, and then Tennessee, and then Atlanta's eight. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't see mm -hmm. that. I don't know, bro. I don't know where bro gonna be. He gonna be cold though. I know where we where we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, the Giants, man. Um, Dallas, Jerry, do what's right, bro. Do what's right. Don't fucking play with me, man. I make my PSA pitch for this nigga right now. They are not going to franchise tag Saquon Barkley this year, uh, which means that nigga is a free fucking agent. Please go get this nigga. I was excited with the Derrick Henry possibility because we need a big bruising back that can actually pick up them, them short yardage games that we couldn't get. Shaquan can get us that too, and he's young. Nigga, I don't, nigga, 
go get one of these brothers to do the fucking job that Tony Parler couldn't do. Put that nigga back at number two. Put that nigga back on the bench at number two. Give me my water, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Please go get this. This nigga is available. Please go get this nigga. I'm tired of watching everybody else get Jerry these players that we require. Go get him. Jerry trying. Yeah. I, I, I give him that. I think Jerry trying. It just he a free Jerry, agent, bro. Jerry don't get him. Money. Man, go go get him. Uh-huh. Go get him. Back Please. in the day, it was, it was easier to control players because he would just come in there with like a you know what I'm saying eight pound a, a blow, and then they'd be out there at, at what they call the White House. They used to have with, with um Dallas. They bring all the women in there. Uh, it's different nowadays, you know what I'm talking about. It was y'all was the cocaine cowboys back then. That's all he needed, eight ball <laughs> and, and 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 just a couple women. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. Y'all was there for life. It's different now. It's. Whatever we do is going to be tough because our books, you know, the niggas that we actually got to pay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got some niggas in their final years of their contract. We got to come up off that bread. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I know CD's up. Um, one of our old line is up. Uh, Micah's due. And Dak. Fuck Dak, nigga. Give a portion of what Dak believe we should get to Shaquan and bring that nigga in here and shake some. Now, if these niggas, this is what I'll be. This is, this is what I'll be on. All these players always talk about oh man you know what i'm saying i just want to win i want to win but when it comes to that money they put that before success bro you getting paid a hundred and twenty million right just hypothetically speaking for let's say four years 30 million a year okay you telling me and you in Texas, so I ain't no state tax. Mm-hmm. You telling me you can't just do four years, 110? Is that what you telling me? That extra 10 million is just that damn detrimental to you? Now, for a nigga who ain't got an extra 10 million to give himself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who am I to mm-hmm. check a nigga pocket? But when you talking about you just want to win, sacrifice comes with that. All right. Mm-hmm. Why waste your talent, man? Get your victory. If you really think that, and Micah said it too, like, man, we've had players out there that could have helped us win. Well, what you going to do? What you going to do? You going to give a little bit back to the bank so that we can make these moves? Mm-hmm. Or you going to be greedy and try to consume everything? You see what I'm saying? This is what I be looking at when I look at professional athletes. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't want to get all the money that you got because we know how to fucking – owners and league is like any point in time you know it's not guaranteed i get that but that's also for your agent to negotiate to make sure that you get them guarantees in there as mm-hmm. much as possible all right help the team that you play for acquire the talent that you desire okay that's that's all i'm asking i ain't asking much you niggas might go out there next year and throw it just lay on the line again just fucking give up but at least I know that y'all ain't selfish. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give something back so that we can get that. All right? Appreciate you. Yeah. Shout I'm trying, Jerry. I'm trying, Shout Michael. Run Jeezy, I'm man. trying. That boy said, fuck that shit. Young nigga get paid. Uh, that's what I'm <laughs> on. Go, go get the money. Fuck what book talking about. <laughs> get that paper. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, oh, yeah, those old Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> niggas, man, you got one bad tackle. Them niggas be trading on y'all niggas quick, fast. Fuck them niggas. Go get your paper. You know what I'm saying? Tell Jerry to open that money. Jerry got it. If he, if he can't give it to you with the books, he know what to do. He give it to you off on the side somewhere. He will give you a little commercial or some shit, and you all you get a whole bunch of money for that one commercial. That you know we know what that money came for and what it's for. Shout out. Tell them niggas open the books. Fuck them. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to um, real quick, Russell Wilson. Shout out to Russell. <laughs> um, you got paid. Shout out to you. But I want to put some blame on Sean Payton. Sean okay. Payton didn't have a good scheme for him. He thought he had an undersized quarterback like Drew Brees. He thought he was going to come Brady. in with that same shit. Bro, you got to evolve and get get a little bit better. 
this year, if it don't work, Drew Brees, they on your ass. That's all. I mean, Sean Payton, they on your ass. That's, right. that's all I'm saying. Because you put y'all put y'all y'all tanked and y'all put all that shit on for Russell Wilson. I don't think that much is on him. His first season, new playbook, all that shit. Y'all could have gave that man a little bit more grace than that. I thought that was fucked up. True. Especially Sean Payton, old trading ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck with that nigga. Uh, okay. Last thing I got, man. I had a, I had a little conversation, man, at work, and I was mm. I was like, you know, let me let me see what book talking about, man. Um, right. You heard about the age gap relationships? You heard about that? You, you heard that? You heard that? Um, that I guess that that word, that verbiage, basically, young man, young woman, with an older man, older woman type thing. It's the age gap relationship. Um. What I'm confused about is what is the proper age gap relation? So what when to you does it become inappropriate, the age gap? Or is it an age thing as far as how young somebody is? Does that change the the gap? Or like you know what I'm saying? Like say we got somebody 45 years old fucking with a 19 year old woman. She's legal. We talking about legal. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So I, I mean, is that cool? Like, how do how do you feel about that? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> All right, so you deep in thought. <laughs> I want to be politically correct with everything that I say today. Uh-huh. Right? What I want to preface it with is um, when we talk about celebrities is different because obviously celebrities know a little bit more information about who it is that they kicking it with. Right? Uh-huh. Now when we talking just normal people just out and shit like that mm-hmm. if i see you in an establishment where i know it's 21 and up to get into or something like that or you got to be legal legally aged to be in the in, in, in the venue okay mm-hmm. so not no man or woman is going up to whomever it is that they are taking a liking to and being like well hey I'm this age, how old are you? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's get that understood first, people, when we talk about the age gap disparities within these relationships, right? So most people also be like, hey, when's your birthday? I ain't never heard a nigga say, hey, hey, but when your birthday? Oh, nigga, October 21st, 1984. Don't nobody say they year. Mm -hmm. It's just the day. Okay, mm-hmm. when you get to talking and more involved, like it could be months down the line, you've been kicking it with somebody, not knowing the age disparity, per se. All right. Now, if I've been kicking it with somebody for about five months, and then all of a sudden I find out she's what, uh, twenty three for whatever. Let's just say twenty three, right? And I know I'm feeling her, she feeling me, and we 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 got a, a great connection. Mm-hmm. Do I forego that because oh shit, damn, you 23. God damn, but you make me feel great. You see what I'm saying? And I make you feel the same in return. Do we then say, Oh well, no, nah, not nah, age is just no, nah, no, nah, we we can't do that. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times I think people get so wrapped up in hey, the age difference. Now there is a point in time where I'm just like, nigga, you just graduated. No, that you shouldn't. I'm, I apologize, but yes, for this, for your example, the 45 and she like, baby, you ain't even. No, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think that is robbing, um, them of figuring out who it is that they are. You see what I'm saying? Because I still feel that somebody that young is still impressionable. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? 
and they will conform to whatever it is that you want to be or you want them to be or they feel as though they have to be for you as opposed to having an identity for themselves. And then when that doesn't work, it fucks them up going forward in future relationships. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's man or woman. I don't care if it's a woman and it's a younger man or a younger woman and an older man, all right? Or however, okay? I'm just saying, like, that type of age gap, I think, you know what I'm saying, with... As long as they have their own identity and they know who they are, what they want, their goals, ambitions in life, things like that, they've lived a little, what is the problem? See what I'm saying? What is the problem? What is the real issue there? Um, I'm not one to overly judge when it comes to that. Um, because I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, I'm 39. Yo, I give me a little 25 when I say, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck yeah. I'm with the shits. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like I'm not gonna be opposed because again, I know that this woman has her own identity about herself. She's lived. You know what I'm saying? She's been on her own. She's had life experiences, you know? Um, and at that point in time, she's also well aware and cognitive enough to make an educated decision on, is this something that I also want to pursue mm -hmm. and possibly be built towards? You see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't I don't have an issue with, you know, an older woman dating a younger man or an older man dating a younger woman, just as long as the identity part has been solidified within the other person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you want as an older aged individual. Allow that younger person to also have that part of them established. That's what I'll say when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not opposed to it. Um, I'm not for, I'm not against, I'm just. So, but so it, 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 ain't, that part. it ain't no age where the gap that make you look like that's a little weird. But what, what's what's my boy name? Um, um, uh, 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 what's my nigga name? Ah, Scarface. Um, that, that ain't been there. Um, Al Pacino. Yeah. He got himself. Now that's that's crazy. To me, that that yeah. that that's a little wild to me. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, now that's, that's a little wild to me. But at that same time, we can look at that and be like, uh, she playing along. There ain't no way you, yeah, ain't no way you falling in love with no 80 year old and you 26 mm -hmm. or how she's in her 20s. I know that. There's no possible way that you, that, that, of all the men in the world, that brother right there just make you just was like, oh my God, I just love him. When I, now that I, I can't see that. Like, mm -hmm. I can tell you now, me being the age that I am, I'm not looking at no 70-year-old, 80-year-old woman like, oh, my God, that's my thing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I just cannot do that. Mm -hmm. All right? You talking about dating somebody that's older than... <laughs> Your grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about right now? Uh -huh. your grandparents, your, your grandfather, your grandmother is 62. This yeah. nigga, whole 80 piece out here. That's your great grandparents. Yeah. You crazy. know what I'm saying? He used to go to the club like, man, get the fuck out. No, I'm not buying into that. Now, that's that bullshit right there. Um, rest of her soul, Anna Nicole Kidman did the same. You know, she married up. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's like, oh, it's love. I, those things, I do not buy into. That's that fake shit right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not believing that. Them disparities, I ain't going for. Mm -hmm. I'm not going for that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it got it got to be just egregious the age gap for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, is yeah. it a number? Is, is it a number? Like man, twenty 30. years, twenty five years, thirty. So thirty. Thirty. I say anything over thirty is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Anything over thirty is crazy to me. So let me see. Uh, for say if I'm, yeah. So yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. 25 to 30. It's just a weird, it's weird to me. So if I get, I get it. if I get to to be 50, yes, 30 years is 20. 
So let's go 25. Because my daughter will be older than that. That's, that's let's, go 25. <laughs> let's go 25. Okay. Yeah, me. I give, I give, no, the gap shouldn't be more than, I really want to say 20, but I don't want to limit nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, again, the, the, but even with my gap, the, the, the gap that I give, remember, my only stipulation is making sure that that identity is established. So even if I say 30 years, mm-hmm. 25, 24, something like that, as long as you, as long as that person can make a well-based decision for themselves, yeah. you know what I mean? I they they have the wherewithal right. within to know that, okay, yeah, I, I know the brother older or I know the sister older than me. You know what I'm saying? But this is what that is. And that's what that ass. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, yeah, yeah. Right, we can go twenty five. We can go twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, I guess 25, mine, mine a little lower. Uh, mine, mine a little lower than twenty five. But what you just, got? Ain't nothing wrong. Everybody's legal. Consenting adults. Um, I was watching Lauren Lake Paternity Court. Man, me and Kim be watching that shit. Man, that shit funny. Okay. I mean, and I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be rooting that the per the daddy ain't the daddy i mean it just is what it is um i'll be right with you but they had one instance where a dude he was messing with a 19 year old she was 21 at the time he had a baby with her when she was 19. at 21 Mm -hmm. she brought the kids to him and left and it was she had two kids by him and he was like well she's doing stuff with other people so i want to make sure that i'm the daddy or whatever Gotcha. I have a problem with that because the nigga was 40. So mm. I, have a, I, I, I have an issue and I guess it's, it, it falls more into what you were saying because yeah. a 19 year old you know what you was doing when you went after this 19 yeah. year old girl. And then you yeah. got a problem that now she wants to leave you because now you can't control her no more because now she's coming into her own and she has kids and all this. I have a problem with that. So I kind of, I'm kind of, I guess, on the same link as you about as long as you have taken taking your journey and you can make your own decisions for yourself. I'm kind of mm-hmm. cool, but whenever a dude want to get with a young woman just to control and do stuff like that, I kind of got a little yeah, issue. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because now you got this woman hostage, and now she she look at you as a father figure more than uh uh what you would call like a a partner. Now she's scared yeah. to do shit around you and all that. I, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. Shout out to them to each his own. I don't, I'm Thanks. not judging, I just don't want nobody to be taken advantage of either. You know what I'm saying? So, as long as that's not go. happening, we good, man. So, that's all I got. Book, um, shout out to Brian, my bad, 400,000 on the boys. Shout out to him, congratulations. Also, shout out to Clayton Clark, um, uh, she's going to the WNBA, she passed up Pete. Maravich, um, Pistol Pete, right in time. scoring record or whatever in college basketball. Hey, we're looking at you, Chef. We're looking at you. She's going to be there next year, brother. Mm-hmm. We're looking at you. She ain't got to go against Sabrina. <laughs> you know who you got to face. You know who you got to see. <laughs> you know who you got to see. It'll be yeah. all right. Next, next yeah. thing, I think they should make a group. Like, she's there. They want to see her, but you got to keep Sabrina because you got to respect it. Have both Sabrina of them together. And nice. have Steph and give you let Clay. Clay ain't doing shit. Let Clay come out there and shoot. Let both of them shoot back to back. Splash brothers, brothers, splash sisters. Splash sisters. You know what I'm saying? That's hard right there. Let them do it. Total don't, y'all take our, don't you take our shit. Boy, if <laughs> I hear this on verbal cardio, four from one, any of these podcasts, mm. any of these television shows, you know today. Today, what's what's today? So that they know, even yeah. though we ain't March uploading 5th. until Sunday. What is it? March 5th. It's March 5th when we're recording this, people. Okay. We're going to upload it March 5th, 2024. I got to put the, the year in there. Okay. <laughs> For you niggas who be acting funny. All right. Mm-hmm. The digital footprint is there. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's on when we upload this. It's in, it's in, it's in the archives of when we recorded this shit. Mm-hmm. I best not hear Splash Sisters nowhere. <laughs> Unless you fuck you pay me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fuck you pay me. Dang. And uh, speak, speaking of the sisters, man, I'm trying to find some. Um, I am trying to locate <clears throat> only because I was hit up in the in, in the DMs, man, um, about my album, right? Mm-hmm. And when I'm actually gonna put it out. Uh, you know, 
some advice that I was given was the, they said to break it into two. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, because they was like, you know, people lose attention quick. You know what I'm saying? As far as when you put out, uh, you know, put out music. You know what I'm saying? So if you split into two, you know what I mean? Four and five here, four and five there, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, that's two albums. Then now you got now you got two albums. Right. I, but I was like, niggas, what? I'm I'm gonna get niggas twelve minutes both times. You know what I'm saying? It's the shortest albums in history. Like, <laughs> it's cool. No, we we're gonna do one. <laughs> now, if by chance, I mean I, I do continually and constantly think and create if I can, you know what I'm saying? So who's to say that by the time I do make it to the crib, I won't have a double, you know what I'm saying? To where okay, shit, I can hit niggas with this one and then oh, hey, down the line, I can hit niggas with that. And if I have a current event bar in there, of course, I'm going to put that on the first one because it needs to be time sensitive. You know what I mean? But um, I try to stay away from those things. But, um, you know, they was telling me about that. And um, they asked me about asked me about our boy that's in the industry that does music. <laughs> and they was like, you know, uh, you know, oh, you know, but he ain't helping. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't he got the, the ins and outs and stuff? And I was like, nah. Boy mm-hmm. said, because I ain't doing this for real, for real. He ain't got time. <laughs> they words exactly. Man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I said, I what me? What <laughs> me? Who said this? This mm-hmm. is the outside. You know what I'm saying? Outside looking. You know who it is. You know the person. I ain't gonna say it nothing. Um, but uh there's a track um uh, on Lil Wayne's album featuring Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I can tell you. Hey, mister, where have you been? Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I give you. So, um, yeah, they let me know. And I was like, you know, but he was like, you know, I get it. I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, I, I got more gratification doing it on my own anyway. Um, through and through, you know what I'm saying? Networking, finding whatever I got going on, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, my peoples, I am trying to find... Um, I've reached out to three females on IG that I think they would be dope. Dope. Because two of them, I know for sure, I love their voice. Like, unique voices to where they can really make the song get off. And the other one, I know, can just put the words together. Like, I want a uh, I want a different perspective. You know, to follow suit after my verse. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I got I got some ideas. Like I tell y'all, man, I'm seriously having fun, but I'm serious. So don't think that I'm just putting out some one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. No, your boy doing. I'm doing some work over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm hand picking my beats. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna be like Nas. Nas got the lyrics, but the beats be ass. No, I'm 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 in here just blazing. Mm-hmm. And and all that over here, you know what I'm saying? They make the niggas that I found because them niggas is too expensive. Yeah, too expensive. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got little flames and yeah, uh, exactly. some other niggas here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First degree. Yeah, so, <laughs> hey, bro, you don't talk about. So, uh, <laughs> look here, bro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I like all the beats that I got, man. And I find more, and I'm just buying. And the beats that I don't use, nigga, I'm telling you right now, Franz, I got some beats that. Um, cause it's a bundle deal. Like if you buy two, the producer will give you one or two for free. Mm-hmm. So I look at people. If you start to hear this new theme music, just know that's a beat that I, I couldn't figure out no mm-hmm. words for. It's going to be the instrument <laughs> in this bitch. And uh, you can use it because it's paid for and it's unlimited. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? it through. It'd be all, it'd be all I, got a couple, I got a couple cause I'm like, I like the beat, but I'm just like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck I would say on that. And there's a lot that I'd be feeling like that, but I'd rather secure it. Um, most of the time, I'd rather secure it. That way, somebody can't say I can't use it at all. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody outright buys it exclusive, I can't purchase it going forward. But if I get it before it's exclusive, I can still do what I want because my contract preceded yours. You know what I mean? So um, that's it, man. So um, I'm hoping that these ladies hit me back. Um, two of them are black. One is white. Not even gonna lie, but the white girl's voice is powerful. Snow Allegra ain't gonna do that, man. Snow Allegra too big for that, man. You gotta shoot a little lower. Who? Snow Allegra too big, man. She's not gonna do that shit, man. 
that ain't that ain't even who the person is. Exactly. <laughs> okay. No that problem. ain't even who the person is. But I I heard her shit on uh, somebody else posted a clip of her doing a freestyle, and I was like, shit, she I, right. mm -hmm. she she fucking nice. And then um, I showed Travis the other one, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, yeah, I, I want her because that other one she fine though. Oh, I've been following right, other need, You need to go hit up Tasha from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Where Tasha at? Oh man. And Tasha, that you need to get her. That's what you need to get. You know what I'm saying? The one that said, and flesh. That 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 bro. That's what you need to get. She got to be, <laughs> she, she can't be explicit. We ain't hey, heard of her. Man. Uh, you know what? I would not mind a um I would not mind a vocalist. Uh, man or woman, probably a female though, would be better suited for the my guardian angel track that I got for my grandmother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I I believe I've said all I can that I don't need to be the one to speak on the course. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got I got some shit, y'all. I got I got some. You can't hype it up. You can't hype it up. You can't hype. It up. I can because that's my grandmother. You know what I'm talking about? I can hype that up. You got to just. It's great, y'all. You got it's to just great. show it and then over deliver when you give them the proof. You can't. You can't overhype it though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm not gonna talk too high of myself, people. I'm gonna just stay mellowed out. There you go. Um, I think I'm doing an okay job. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think I'm doing an okay job. Uh, you know, and I, I'll leave that to y'all to decide when the time comes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, but I have been making my little videos, like, because what I'm doing now is I buy the beat and I'm acting like I'm in a real studio. Mm -hmm. So I play the, the beat through my headphones as opposed to TV now. Mm -hmm. That way I and I record just my words. And it's hard for me. I got to try to stack it at the right spot on the beat. So that's what I'm, I'm in here being an engineer for my damn self. Um, at this point in time, people just because I want to hear it clearer, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then the people that do get the, you know, get like I let some of my employees that had to ride with me the other day. Um, I did let them hear some of my shit. One of them is going to another camp. Um, we made a trade, uh, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? So um, I was like, hey, bro, you're not going to be able to hear that track that you, you know, the, the outro part, you know, that, mm -hmm. I, that I made uh, with the feature. And I was like, you ain't going to be here to hear it. So I'm like, I'm gonna let you hear it right now because I had already recorded and stacked it, right? Mm -hmm. So we riding, you know what I'm saying? I got I got the older lady in the car, the one that was like, "Ooh, your car's so sweet." Don't <laughs> pass out. And she said that again the other day when she was like, "Who I'm riding with?" She was like, "I'm not taking that." I was like, "Nah, y'all with me?" She was like, "Ooh, I'm in the sweet car." I was <laughs> like, "Yeah." <all> right. <laughs> so, um, I was like, "Well, Miss Pay, you and you in luck today. You get to hear everything." Because I'm like, I'm not gonna lie to you, front. I don't know the last time I listened to anybody but me in my car. Like I literally ride to work for an hour, over an hour, or however long it takes me to get where I need to go. It is literally just me mm -hmm. talking and rapping the whole fucking, and I love it all the time, nigga. Love it all the time. So mm -hmm. um, that's how I'm able to fine tune and craft. And I'm like, oh, I'm missing a word there, man. I need to, I need to create, I need to put something else there to bridge it, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, people, I, I take that seriously. But anyway, so I played it, and uh, you know, I look in the rear view. He got that little grin on his face, like, like nigga, won't, he he don't want to get my props, but the props is already showing. You know what I'm talking about? It is exuded in in, 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 in how you what your stature is right now. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, the only thing you ain't do is take off shirt and waving in the head like a helicopter. You know what I'm talking about? So I was like. I do a little something, something, man. I do a little something, something. I appreciate it. I was like, I could tell you feeling it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can't wait for the finish. I was like, yeah, I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. So, um, you know, my uh, Miss Kara, she was like, um, she was like, what? What? She was asking me about the track. Um, she was like, what about the the one for your ex wife? She was like, yeah, work on that one. I only had a thought that I thought I might have did that. And mm -hmm. the thought that I had was going to be something totally different. You know what I'm talking about? Than the one that I actually created. Uh, I'll okay. tell you now, girl, the one that I was talking about doing. <laughs> yeah, I hate you so much right now, Track, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, listen. What? But uh, the situation that I was in when I came to 
tapped into the other part of my cerebellum and it, it made me write the way that I wrote. You know what I'm saying? So um yeah, it was it was gonna be a wild one, you know what I'm talking about? But uh yeah, yeah, I, I think I did the one that I was supposed to. So I let her hear that and she was like, Oh my. I was like, Yeah, I was, you know, I I don't wanna beef it up, you know, pump it up too much, but I was like, Yeah, that's that's it, you know what I mean? No course. Mm-hmm. And um just get what I need to say out, you know what I'm saying? And um she's like, Where's where's that other one though? I was like, which one? She was like, your first one. And she was like, you know, I'm the bad bitch. So I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I got to check out, check out. Uh, she was shake her ass or something, huh? Yeah, man. So she was like, yeah, where, where that one at? I was like, uh, I was like, I'm, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on some, 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 you know, another verse for it, but I got mine, you know what I'm saying? So I re, I re, um, I restacked that one today. That's the one I sent you for the course. Try to figure that part out. But um, I restacked that one today. So that one's on the shelf waiting. And um, like I said, I want, I do want a female on that one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping that they hit me back um, to give a different perspective. Um, if it don't happen, then, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll play itself the way it's going to play itself. But um, yeah, man, I, I think, I think that'd be dope. And uh, her daughter called, this is how I know I made it y'all. And that's my last part. Um, so she was in the car. And she was like, um, she's like, girl, you she's like, you calling me on video and you half naked. Now I'm not paying attention, you know what I'm saying, to to what they got going on. Yeah. And she was like, Oh, but ain't you driving? She was like, No, I'm not driving. If I picked up the phone, you know what I mean, and it's a video call, she was like, Why would I be driving? You know what I mean? I mean that means somebody else is driving and you in here looking half naked. I almost wanted to cut my eyes though. You know what I'm talking about? What you talking about over there, Miss K? What you talking about? But she was like, um, she was like, you know, I'm in the car with my supervisor. And then she said her daughter was like, oh, the rapper? <laughs> Nigga, I made it. What you talking about? <laughs> I don't made it now, man. I have been recognized as a rapper. Y'all just can't say shit to be low bow, man. So yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, uh, it's, it's 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 dope, man. So uh, yeah, people, I there's gonna be a day where I am going to let y'all hear an unengineered professional product. You know, uh, one of the tracks. Um, just so y'all know, I ain't bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Um, ain't gonna be no music video. It's just gonna be it's gonna be the song, and I'll put the name, the title of the song in the screen. I'll mm-hmm. put a little graphic, but that's it. That way y'all can hear it and we're we going to go from there. So I got I got five or six of them done like that. Um, some of them, again, it's the placing of it. So I'm trying to make it as good as possible without a skipping to where, oh man, that's off. No, it's not me. It's me trying to place it and I'm trying to do it with my finger. You know what I'm saying? Like literally on my phone trying to drag this shit to the ideal spot. So if it sound like a hiccup, nigga, it sound like a hiccup because it's not the finished product. Appreciate the greatness that you're hearing in front of you right now. That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's okay. it, man. I see you. You want to do it? On that song about your, um, your ex, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe you should have a dude singing on that. You know what I'm talking about? Singing some shit. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, you know what? Depending on what Joe costs, I might ask Joe. <laughs> I ain't never mind. You know what I'm saying? Joe? Oh, he he, he has a different bracket right now. I don't know. Uh, you know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. But, yeah, hey, hey, he could be on the Guardian Angels joint. You know what I'm saying? If he talk about something, who knows? Shit. Hey, know. man. I could send him the Guardian Angel track, and if he can think, I got I got the words in there that I want to be in there. Well, two of them. You build off of that, bro. I, yeah. Hold me down and put your vocals on that joint in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit. Got no problem with it. Hey. No problems with it. Good shit. Well, y'all know what it is, people. Remember to like, share, subscribe to this podcast, the one of a kind time that we do all the time. And then follow us on Instagram at the MVP underscore podcast. We know that y'all are sharing our, our information to the other people's. You know what I'm talking about? Just want to give, give us our credit. That's all. And then email us at men's podcast at yahoo.com. People, if you are a female aspiring to be on something bigger than yourself, <laughs> let me know. You know what I'm talking about? I, I'm not taking auditions. 
But if you do a little something, something, well, yeah, you would have, yeah, you would have to conduct an audition, you know, talking about to let me know that you can actually do what you're talking about. You do, you got to do. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, follow us on Twitch and Facebook, gaming at man's, uh, oh my God, MV Podcast Game. I'm tripping. That's it's man's this, man's that. It's MV <laughs> Podcast Game, people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is that. Shout out again to y'all sticking with us another week. We appreciate it. Um, I guess we only got and one. I didn't give y'all a update this week. I apologize. I went back and watched it. Somebody in the comments said, Man, I didn't fucked up my shit. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. What's up? Okay, I'm back. I said, Somebody in the comments, I didn't give y'all a Chipotle update this week, but the comment section said that I updated the about Chipotle the week prior. So I, I apologize. <laughs> Don't talk about I apologize. I really. I didn't know I did. I had to go back and watch the previous I shown up did. I shown up did. So shout out to you, bro. You know, y'all. I appreciate you putting it in the comments for me. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you putting it in the comments. And you was happy that I'm still getting a Chipotle. So that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, but shout out to y'all. Again, we appreciate y'all for tuning in, for coming here on this journey with us. Yeah. Uh, but until next time. Been MVP, we're we'll gonna holler at you. He's out. Pray for me. Pray for me. Do everything I can.